Hi guys, Miss Ortiz here. I just want to refresh your memories about the skills for posting to the blog. Remember, the blog is due this Friday, October 11th. So where are the blogs? Well, the blogs are discussions. So you click on this discussion option on the left-hand navigation panel, and you'll see the first one that I posted, I closed for comments because I made a new one by period. So that's the one you're going to use. So you're going to click into the assignment and look to the bottom of the post for the reply button and click on it. And that's going to open your rich content editor. And this is the box where you're going to post your blog. So hopefully you've got it all complete and you are ready to do this. So I have mine open here on another tab. I'm going to just Command A, Command C to select all and copy all the text. I've already got a picture and I've already got a link. So let's see how it works. I go back to the assignment and Command V is to paste. So as you can see, the text is all here, but there are no pictures. They didn't copy over. That's okay. We're going to put a picture in now. The link did work, however. I can tell that this link works because it's blue and underlined. So before I add a picture, I just want to make sure each paragraph is indented properly. Tabs don't work in Canvas, so seven spaces can be used instead. I like mine to look nice, so all my paragraphs are now consistent and I want to add a picture and I want the picture in the beginning so I put my cursor here in the beginning and I'm going to use this embed image icon right here but first I need to get the image so I'm going over to Google where I already typed in the name of the book and I found the picture that I wanted and here it is it's a very large picture I'm going to insert it by URL so I don't have to download it to my computer and then upload it to Canvas although I could do it that way this is faster and it doesn't use any space on my computer so I'm holding down the control button and then I click on the image to copy the image address you don't want to use the URL here because this is the Google search results image so I go back to my assignment my cursor is where I want the picture I click the embed image icon it defaults to by URL so I can just paste the URL in this example URL box. Next I'm going to check that it is a decorative image which shows me the size and prevents a screen reader from trying to read it. And I click update and you can see it is very large. So to resize it I'm going to click on the picture and grab a corner. Never do it from the side or the top because that will shrink your picture uh, in a disproportionate way. It will distort the picture. So shrink it down to the size that you want. That looks about right. And I can click post reply. But notice there's a lot of white space here because it does not, Canvas does not have a wrap text feature in the rich content editor. So I'm going to show an advanced skill to wrap the text. You do not have to do this if you don't want to. Um, instead, you could just bring that bit of text down underneath it so it doesn't look so weird, but you will have a lot of white space, which I don't like. So I have another tab open, um, and it is called How to Wrap Text. I will include this link in the comments. So there's two pieces of text here that I'm interested in. One is for floating a picture to the left, which is highlighted. Um, so I'm going to copy it. And the other is how to float a picture to the right. And they also pad the picture. They put in a little bit of space so the text is not smushed up against your pictures. This is what it will look like floating right. And I copied this piece of text to float it left. I go back. Now I'm in the rich content editor, as I said and that's HTML code I just copied. So I can toggle to the HTML editor by clicking here, which turns everything into code. So where do I put this piece of text, this piece of code? I'm putting it right before the image. I can see it's right here. Image is IMG in HTML, but it might not be so easy to find for yours. It might be somewhere in the middle. So if you do Command F, 
um, that's find. That's the find function in Chrome. And I put IMG here, and when I hit return, it will highlight where any images are. And it, as you can see, I have one image, so it's highlighted here. So I'm clicking right in between these two little arrows. Each piece of code is inside two arrows like that. So my cursor is there, I paste the code, and then all I need to do is click done at the bottom, and my text is wrapped. I'm still not finished. I'm gonna just remind you how to add a picture again. I'm gonna bring this text up. You might wanna put a nice title on the top. So I'm going back into edit mode. I'm gonna get rid of the little bit of white space that's left here. And then on the bottom, I wanna put in um, four out of five milk cartons. So I actually wanna add a picture down here. So I'm going back to get a milk carton. And don't get one that has like an eye stock watermark on it because that will show up. So pick one that has no watermarks. Again, to get a picture, you control and click on the image and copy the image address. Go back to the post, cursors here, choose embed the image by URL. I paste it. I check that it's decorative. It's kind of large still for my purpose. So I'm going to click on the image shrink it down a little bit. When I get it to the size that I want, I'm gonna copy it because I want four of them. Command C to copy it, and Command V three times to paste it. And maybe I'll even center that at the bottom. The last thing I'm going to show you is how to make a link, if you haven't done that already in your Google Doc. So you might put click here, to read the first chapter. Whatever I want a link to be, it could be a word, it could be it could be a picture, it could be anything. Anything you can highlight can be a link. So I need to get the link from Amazon, which I've already searched for it, and you can tell that you can read this because it says look inside. So that means when you click on it, you can actually go straight to the chapter and start reading. So I'm going to copy the URL from above, Command C to copy it, go back here, my text is highlighted, and now I want to use link to URL icon, which is located right here, and I paste that URL and insert that link, and when I click done, my post looks the way that I want it, and my links work. Okay, thanks for watching.